this is a just a quick check in response to some of the comments on the uh, previous video um, I've actually reseated the test bar in the uh, spindle rechecked everything I put the bearing caps on and locked them down uh, one of the comments was is there any chance that the sag as a result of that dropping pivoting on the front bearing and lifting out the back so as I say the bearing caps are on the clamp down everything's cleaned out now remember that there's three thou of lift at the front of the bearing and there's two and a half thou of a valety in the rear of bearing so what I'm now doing is I'm going to lift the uh, back end of the spindle and you can see the needle, needle move I it drops as opposed to it's already lifted I'll do that again so that's the two thou of the uh, valley so the, the the weight of the spindle is more than enough to compensate for the weight of that test bar so as I say bearing caps are on um, I've been reseated it and got everything as I'd like it I've, I've continually rechecking it and I'm still coming out with something in the region of it the spindle is a thou that way and near as damn it horizontal so I am gonna shift it all off lift the lift the headstock off and then scrape it so that I can screw the headstock that way and down and that should compensate and I'm looking for sort of a, a thou movement at that end down and across and then I'll check it all up and re um, get some new new alignment dimensions all right so we've given it uh, I think it's about three cycles through basically we've dropped the far end and shunted it over and then I've re put it all back together clamped it on rechecked the dimensions what I've now got is, a, is a, a lift at the end of the bar of two thou so I'm quite happy with that because I know that I've got to take a thou out of this front end as the spindle is going to drop there now I've also got to take out the back as well but there's more wear at the front so whilst it's uh, twice the tolerance up high it's two thou up instead of a I think it's a, is it half a thou or something I know it's going to come down a bit when I start scraping so I'm okay with the the vertical in terms of the alignment front to back uh, instead of it drifting away by it was actually just under a thou um, in the best of the measurements I've now got it so it's running parallel so I'm going to do a little bit more work and I need to I do need to improve the seating on it um, and then recheck it again bearing in mind that I still actually want to shove that end over somewhere in the region of half a thou now so we're getting there that's uh two hours of work all right so that's if i can get the glare off this is the headstock position we're hovering around zero there if I then scoot it along thirteen inches from the uh oh, sorry twelve inches from the chuck just mess about to get it all settled. Sorry about the glare. The midpoint of that is two divisions up. So, long and the short of it, it's now poking forward. It's um, four ten thousandths of an inch further forward than it should be. But I'll lose that as I uh, make better seat for the uh, pads. That's the hard bit done. I've just got to seat it up now and then uh, we're tickety-boo.
it's a bit of a ropey setup but it's just enabled me to get a rough and ready assessment as to how much I'm dropping the front edge um, and basically it's just a height off the flat obviously it's not going to enable me to check the forwards and backwards but I've already got that I'm just dropping the front so I wrote on the dimension we we started off with and I'm slowly bringing it down so we were at uh, 602 and we're now at six and one and three quarter uh, which is actually where we want it to be um, so yeah um, it saves building the whole thing up bolting it down building it up I did actually check the dimensions having bolted it down checked it unbolted it checked it so I'm getting a consistent result and I'm happy with that and it's proven out when I've tested it with the test bar well this bit seems to be taking longer than the Brexit negotiations um, I've got it so I'm happy with the seating and in doing so I've now shifted it out of alignment <laughs> but you're talking it's four tenths out from where I was aiming so just under half a thou um, because of the, the the number of variables kind of thing um, what I'm going to do is leave it as it is uh, and concentrate on getting the last bit of the alignment via the spindle bearings um, I can't see that I mean if that's the spindle bearing and the actual amount of movement I've got to do is four tenths at this end so it's been four tenths on this rear end in terms of um, at the moment the spindles pointing up four tenths too high so by the time I've taken out the wear from the bell mouthing on the front bearing it'll drop and then I'll take the back one down to bring the alignment in four tenths over that distance ain't going to make a blind bit of difference on the gear meshing um, it might be half a thou on this back one but uh, I can't see it being a big problem fundamentally because the thing's got to drop anyway to take the wear out um, so we'll have to deal with that as and when uh, what might happen is I need I can't remember how this this one there's another gear meshes up to this and I can't remember whether it's on a fixed centre or it's uh, movable but either way that'll need looking at to make sure that it's not bottoming out but yeah it's uh, I've had it closer um, but not a very good seat and as, as I've brought the seat in it's just shifted it and it, I'm, I am really struggling to get that any better um, and get a good uh, seating so uh, yeah bit frustrating but it's a case of uh, it's as, it's good enough I think to get on with the next bit So this is the alignment at the uh, free end, um, everything's seated if I tap it, I'm not getting any movement on it. And the tolerance at this point is uh, one and a half divisions, no more than. So first job is to 
zero it out for the uh, run out. So we're at plus two and a half, minus a half, so plus one. Minus one and a half. If I had the money, I'd buy a fine adjust on a Loga, but I haven't. Feel free to donate via my Patreon or my PayPal giving. <laughs> uh, right, so we're at uh, zero minus one and a half. It's plus or minus one and a quarter, isn't it? All right, so I'm calling that zeroed. So we then go back and you, without adjusting that, we slide the rig along. Uh, and I've just realised my camera's in the way, so I'll have to adjust and then bring you back. Don't panic. Oh, we have to excuse the glare, but uh, so that's uh, shuffled along, and then just tap it so that the needle stops migrating. So you can see we're two divisions down there, but we'll spin it around and see where the variation out of round is. So that's minus a half. to minus one and a half so if you said minus one was the the middle there so we're talking about one division um, forward at the free end which is four tenths which is right smack bang in the middle of the uh, the tolerance so I'm say so I'm happy with that and that's that's the one I didn't want to have to try and adjust with the um, spindle bearings it's just the vertical height um, so I'll set it up again and show you that one. So we've got rough, if, if we take a midpoint between there, we're a couple of divisions up and we should only be one. So that's uh, one division is four ten thousandths. Uh, I'm not overly fussed about that. It could come down as soon as I uh, start bedding in that bearing. So yeah. So all in all, uh, next job is basically go strip it all back, back again and what i found was um when i took this apart uh there was noticeably let, there was not a lot of oil in there and what was in there was contaminated with bits of brass um and well, just generally crap these bolt holes were actually filled up um with debris slime <laughs> it's quite, well, pretty nasty stuff anyway i'm digging them out and then undoing the cap heads that sank in the bottom there I couldn't understand what was going to stop any lubricant running down there and out. And uh, up until about two days ago, I still couldn't work it out because the fill point is there, straight over that hole. So uh, what I found was, um, if I can find the bloody thing, only on one of those cap heads so far, on that which just seems to be a little copper um, seal somewhat worse for wear so I can only assume that the others are either lost or stuck in the bottom of the holes so I'm, once I've got the spindle out again and the cap heads out I'm gonna have a route about in the bottom of the holes and look to see if I can make some new ones of those I don't think they need to be uh, top hats like that failing that it's a piece of metal, uh, bit of 
bit of mastic underneath the end of each of the uh, cupboards and that'll stop it i am also chewing over whether to, to make some little um, brass plugs that will just be a press fit um, there's not an awful lot of uh, oil that goes in there but it, as i say it just seems blooming daft having that hole right next to the field point uh, yeah so there we go once the headstock's on um, and I've got to put the gears on that are, sit underneath this uh, I've got to remember how they all go together which are uh, over here so there's this thing this is it's something to do with the reverse mechanism for the feed uh, it sits in between that and all that hangs underneath the bottom of the uh, headstock and then that is what switches it um, so I've got to, re got to rebuild that lot um, and then mount the headstock fit the cap heads make sure they're sealed and then we can start looking at scraping in that uh, spindle bearing uh, which is going to be entertaining because I've never done it before and uh, I was working on the basis of Chris was going to be doing that but uh, I'm pretty damn sure that ain't going to be the case so I shall be uh, learning as I go hopefully quickly <laughs>